Well, you may know Hawaii's meta goal for their dairy products and the pog, of course. Now they're presenting a new line of locally flavored products. The Dream Bars include flavors like strawberry guava and chocolate hop pia. The inside is a premium creamy ice cream center that combines so well with the flavored shells. Joining us now live, Kimia Sadeki, business development director and manager at Medical Dairies. Good morning, Kimia. So you have these new flavors. Now everyone knows, of course, of the Dream Bars. So tell us what you're doing with these. Yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely. Flavors. Mahalo, Cynthia. So everyone knows and loves our classic orange Dream Bars. Uh, but what we've done here is we've launched a line of locally made local flavors. So we, yeah, as you said, we have Pog, we have Strawberry Guava, and chocolate halpia. Yes, so how did you come up with these flavors? Why did you folks decide to do that? Yeah, so at Metal Gold, we've been really thinking the past few years uh, what, you know, how to focus on local manufacturing. And as we know, local manufacturing can be really expensive, but the advantage of local manufacturing is you get to be in your market. You can be quicker and more innovative, um, control your supply chain, uh, so there's a lot of opportunity there. Yes, and I know that you and your dad, of course, you know, people think, okay, Medigolds is no longer in Hawaii because obviously that factory is no longer at that old location, but you're also working on keeping it local. So tell us how you're doing that. Yeah, no, so uh, we bought the business in 2020 mm -hmm. and uh, the Sheridan uh, plant was not part of that um, sure. acquisition. And so uh, we have the plant in Hilo, which is actually where the creamy uh, ice cream is uh, produced, the ice okay. cream mix. And then these bars are actually made in our uh, new and growing plants in Kapolei. Yes, okay, that is so cool. That is that is the part that people don't know. <laughs> yes. they're, thinking, they're thinking, where is this, where is it at, your factory and all that. So that is good that we're talking about it is in Kapolei and I know that eventually we're going to go see that new plant. I know <laughs> yes, you're absolutely. developing that. So, so, so tell us about this whole dairy. I know that your dad comes from a whole dairy background. So tell us just briefly about that, how you want to keep this local. Yeah, most of my dad's career was a dairy farmer on the Big Island. That's why I was born there. Yes. Um, and so when he bought this company, it was really for the heart of saving Hawaii's dairy industry. Um, and so we have a long ways to go and we've been just um, striving every day to just go towards that vision of bringing back uh, Hawaii's dairy industry. Yes, and that's what I admire so much. I know that when I briefly met you and talked with you at the restaurant, um, the expo, you know, we're talking about that keeping it local and your commitment to Hawaii and then keep, you said the dairy so that the dairy industry on the Hawaii Island how you're growing that so tell us what your any yeah. tentative plans you can share yeah <laughs> no we um, we are uh, growing our uh, milk production yes um, and not only that but metal gold is very vertically integrated so we have the local manufacturing and the distribution and the brand so just taking care of all ends of the business um, is super important but it starts with the farms it starts with um, great cows and great people that help us make these products. So um, these bars are really handmade with love and a really high quality, super premium ice cream that just wouldn't be possible without good dairy. Yes, exactly. And so that's what I love about this. The fact that you're, you folks come from a dairy background and you want to keep this local. Yeah. So so when you manufacture these, so what does it take to put these together? I mean, it yeah. seems pretty, I mean, we're talking about the dream bars, but now we have these really beautiful flavors here. We have uh, chocolate halpia and we have this and of course, uh, you know, strawberry guava and all these different flavors. So how are you keeping all of this, these flavors so unique? Yeah, no, great question. So with the pog and the strawberry guava, what we did is it's the same base as our drinks. People sure. love our drinks. So they that's, do. That's how we uh, make that outer shell. So we actually use pog and strawberry guava for the outer. And the inside is made with the creamy, super premium mix. The ice cream mix is made in Hilo right now. Oh, and, made in Hilo. Yep, and brought over um, to Capolet where we turn it into ice cream. And then we fill like this, um, almost like a mold. Uh, where we put the ice cream in the center and then another mold for that outer shell. Um, and so you get this amazing combination of really delicious flavors. I'm gonna have one okay, too. Yeah, exactly, we're gonna, ha we're gonna, gonna enjoy pog. this. Okay, I'm trying the chocolate halpia. And I'm having pog. You're having pog, the classic, classic. The classic. Mm. And so that chocolate halpia is actually made, mm. I believe, with Manoa chocolate. So we source locally okay. whenever possible for okay. any ingredient that we can. Okay. Mahalo, thank you Mahalo. so much.